my experience. Uh, the troops I were with went down to the South Pacific. But in ranger training, I had uh, suffered a chromiocolobicular separation, and I was in the hospital the day they left and went by uh, with a train, went by the hospital in boxcars, and I was waving goodbye to my fellow companions as I went down to the South Pacific. I had applied for OCS. Later on, I would go to Fort Knox, Kentucky, to OCS there, get my commission as a officer in the tank corps, be assigned to the 8th Armored Division. There were 38 of us from my class that were sent down to the 8th Armored Division as replacements. They gave us all tests, and out of the 38, only 18 were picked to stay behind with the 8th Armored. I was very fortunate because we had a new tank, the M24 that had just come out. Well, we, I, while in the OCS, we trained with uh, them, got familiar with them at Fort Knox, Kentucky. So when there were a few of them arrived to train our division before we went overseas, because we never got them until we got to uh, England. They came on, a, on another ship, and uh, they landed in Wales. We landed in Southampton on the east side of England, they came in on the west side. So, down in Wales. But, when we got these things, the general of the division, as we were out in the Southampton Plains, teaching the men how to fire, to fire, the general said he wanted to shoot the thing. I told my God, you know, when this guy comes on, he's going to be all wacky in his range estimation and everything else. Don't believe what he says. You oh, use this range. <laughs> so, my gunner did. He put that into his gun. He shot. The general came. Well, I deliberately planned that they land short. But he had to give the fire commands short, increase your range, etc., etc., so much. He was wacky again. But I told my gunner that what to do. Second round, he hit the target. Why, that general was one happy camper. From that, I was in like Flynn with that division. 